So I finally got my hands on some little tiny Bibles here, and we are going to open them up and take a look. This one is just the Psalms, as you can see right here, and this one is a little bit easier to read. If I get in here pretty close, this camera is pretty strong. You should be able to see close to being able to read that. Now this one though, which is super cool and comes with this little metal clasp that's on the side, is certainly not going to be able to be read. I mean, this thing is super small, also really Really cool it's like protected by this metal casing but if I open this up there's just no way that you're gonna be able to read that there's actually an app on your phone for a magnifying glass that I'm gonna actually try out I think I might actually have my magnifying glass out in the garage I'm gonna check I don't have it so we're gonna we're gonna go with the phone all right so here we have Exodus 20 then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Now that's still pretty tough to read. I mean, but you have to give it to them in how incredibly amazing and small print this is. Like just for it to have been printed on a book this size. I mean, so you're seeing it magnified here it's it's no bigger than my it's no bigger than my finger i mean it's no bigger than my thumb so to be able to print that this small is mind-boggling yeah sometimes i can't tell if the magnifying glass is just not super good or if the print inside is just a little wonky so what i was really curious to see was when this was printed so obviously here you have the holy bible containing the Old and New Testament. Does that say 1989? I think it says 1989. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure this is copyright 1989. Kind of makes sense for there to be that much like specificity and like consistency in super small printing. So the technology is definitely more advanced than uh, something of the early days. Now, what's really cool about this one from the Henry Froud collection, the Oxford Press collection, is that, well, number one, this is in really, really, really good condition. Uh, number two, this is from 1900, like on the dot. So I'm looking up a catalog of basically British miniature leather bound sets from that same kind of Henry Froud time. It has it exactly word for word what's inside of it. All of the ones that I'm seeing on the list here are sold. In fact, most of the miniatures are sold, but there's a few of them like a super, super tiny two inch version of uh, Charles Dickens is still available, it looks like. But, uh, and I found this one in a locked case in Scotland, which is where I found both of them together. But this one specifically, I think this was about 50 bucks, um, but it is in so good condition. And I feel like it's definitely worth more than that it doesn't tell me the sell price here but all of the other ones are no less than 95 all the other ones this one picture book of paris is 250 so i'm pretty i'm pretty stoked to have the psalms in this edition and a later 1900s 1980 edition of this uh, metal metal cased one right here is really really neat but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments have you encountered any of these yourself do you have any miniature bibles that you have in your collection feel free to tag me on instagram uh, so i can see pictures of them anyway i thought this was such a neat find that i had grabbed from scotland and i wanted to share it with you all amongst some other things that i got in scotland which will be coming in the days soon please subscribe to this channel it would be super super cool i want to continue to just show really neat vintage things and share some history behind it. I got another typography book from Beatrice Ward upstairs that I have just unpackaged. I want to go through that and read excerpt from that because that's really cool type book from 1950s as well as some really old advertisements and things like that. If you all subscribe and like the video, drop a comment. It really helps. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Peace.